Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best project settings and export settings for DaVinci Resolve. I won't really go into what most of them do, or any of the reasoning or any of that. I spent several hours researching this stuff to just find the best stuff, so that you didn't have to research it and find the same stuff. If you're curious about some of the tests or experiments and stuff that I've seen on YouTube, I'll link a few of them in the description so that you can kind of do your own research and make your own decisions. But if you just want the best settings, here's the best settings. So first off, file project settings, uh, set the timeline resolution and video resolution to whatever you recorded in. So in my case, it's 1080p, just set that to 1080p. Set the timeline frame rate, playback frame rate, and the format all to whatever FPS you recorded in. So I use 60, so it's 60, 60, and then 60p. He did 30, it's 30p, 24, it's 24p. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, if we go down to the optimize media and render cache section, most other things you just leave as default. Uh, but the resolution one, so proximity resolution, optimized media resolution, set those both to original, and then all the format ones, so proxy media format, optimized media format, and render cache format, set that to DNX HRHQ. If you're on Mac, just use ProRes, it's better for you, but if you're not on Mac, that's not even an option for you, so Windows and Linux, DNX HRHQ. From here, hit the three dots on the top, save current settings as default, update and save, and you'll never have to change them again. From here, let's go to the export settings. Uh, I do want to mention, even if you record in 1080p or below, it's worth upscaling to 4K, because YouTube for 2K, 4K, and 8K videos, even when watching at lower resolutions, so if you're watching at 1080p, the quality will be higher because of the compression YouTube does in the background uh, being better if you use a higher quality upload, even if it's upscaled footage. If you are upscaling, if you use 720p, you only want to upscale to 2K because that scales one to one. And if you are using 1080p recording footage like myself, you should upload to 4K, uh, up, sorry, upscale to 4K because that's also one to one. So right, 720p to 2K footage looks really good. Uh, 720p to 4K footage doesn't look really good. Uh, 1080p 2k footage doesn't really look really good but 1080p to 4k it looks really really good but that out of the way uh if you want to still go ahead with 1080p settings maybe it's like your second channel or you don't really care that much about quality and just want like a batch render time and low file size uh then this is going to be the set of settings for you uh the main settings you want to change are codec make sure that's h264 if it's 1080p or below and then the other one is your resolution frame rate. Change that to whatever you want to use. So in my case, 1080p 60 right here. If you're using any other kind of thing above 1080p, so 2K and above, or if you're just looking for the rest of the 1080p settings, I'll go over them real quick. Uh, so for 4K, set your resolution to 4K. Set the frame rate to whatever. Same thing for 2K, just set your resolution to 2K. And then for that codec, you want it to be H.265. And if you have it available, you'll notice I don't have it available. This only shows up if you have a really, really, really new graphics card, like an NVIDIA 4000 or above. Uh, you want to click AV1 if it's an option here for you. It'll make the file size smaller while still keeping the same quality. From here, I'll go over all the settings that are going to be the same between 1080p and 4K. Uh, and that's pretty simple stuff, right? So format, set that to QuickTime. Encoder, keep that on auto. Network optimization, turn that on. Quality, this is your bit rate. Don't click the restrict one. I know a lot of people recommend it. Click automatic, set it to best. DaVinci Resolve does a great job setting the bitrate properly. Just let it do its thing. Uh, encoding profile, keep it on main if that's your only option. If you have the option, click high, set to high. Preset, change that to quality. Uh, and then scroll down a bit under advanced settings. Go down to these six checkboxes down here. And click all of them except to use proxy media. So by bypass reencode, use optimized media, use render cache, uh, force sizing to highest quality, force to better to highest quality. And that's all you have to do for the visuals. As for the audio tab right here, set the codec to linear PCM, set the bit depth to 24, uh, click normalize audio, and then hit optimize to standard. Set that standard to YouTube. And that's all you have to do. Uh, from here, you're good to just name your file and hit add render queue and go and render it. Uh, project settings we did before, I'll, like I said before, I'll have a few videos linked in the description that I kind of watched to help find what these best options were. And maybe you'll find them super useful, super interesting as well. If you're just curious about kind of what I used to get here, that's what I did. And yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Leave a like or comment if you found this useful and goodbye.